Hello friends, this video on Symmetry Part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now look at some of the questions. Question number one, find the number of lines of symmetry for each of the following shapes. Okay, so we have variety of shapes on the screen. We have to tell how many lines of symmetry each of them have. So the first one. So here I have drawn the lines of symmetry. So you see it has a vertical line of symmetry because it divides it into two equal halves. Now an easier way of guessing how many lines of symmetry it would have is at the center you see this looks like a square. Now a square has four equal sides. So ideally it should have four lines of symmetry. And the same is true here. So you see one vertical line of symmetry which divides the entire object into two equal halves. One horizontal line of symmetry. So this is horizontal line of symmetry. This is vertical. And these two are diagonal lines of symmetry. So total we have four lines of symmetry. The second image. So look at this image and so let's look at the second image. So now looking at this image, can you guess how many lines of symmetry it would have? Now anyways, we will draw the lines of symmetry, but at least looking at the image, if you can get some idea, that would be better. Okay, so observe it closely, the dotted lines, observe the dotted lines closely. You see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six sides which make it a hexagon. Now a regular hexagon has how many lines of symmetry? six lines of symmetry. So looking at this image, we feel that all these sides are equal in length, right? So this should have six lines of symmetry. So what would be those six lines of symmetry? Something like this, joining the two opposite vertices of the hexagon like these. And again, joining the midpoints of the opposite sides of the hexagon like this. So you see these three lines, they join the midpoints of the opposite sides of hexagon and these three lines, the blue ones, they join the opposite vertices of the hexagon. So therefore we have a total of six lines of symmetry. Let's look at the third one. So here you have a doll and you have to tell how many lines of symmetry it has. Now, do you think it would have any horizontal line of symmetry? It cannot have any horizontal line of symmetry because you see on the top it has the face part and on the bottom it has the legs part. So obviously there, there would be no symmetry between top and bottom. So there could be no horizontal line of symmetry. So the only possible line of symmetry would be one vertical line of symmetry. So there is just one line of symmetry in this case. Question number two, find the number of lines of symmetry for each of the following shapes. So first we have the swastik symbol. So looking at this again, let's judge how many lines of symmetry it might have. So think of vertical lines like these. And again, the two halves are not equal. Think of a horizontal line like this. Again, the two halves are not equal. So basically we see that there are no lines of symmetry in this. So there is no line of symmetry. Let's move to the next uh, image, which is the image of a flower with five petals. Now, what do you think could be a line of symmetry for this flower? So any line which passes through the midpoint of one petal and passing through the center of the opposite two petals would divide it into equal halves because total five petals. So this line divides it into one, two and half. So two and a half petals on each side. So it divides it into two equal halves. Now, how many such lines can we draw out of this flower? So this flower has five equal petals. That means we can draw one line like this for each petal. So as a result, we can draw a total of five such lines. So you see, from the midpoint of every petal, we can draw one line, right? One, two, three, four, and five. So in this way, we can say that this flower has five lines of symmetry. So whenever you have to find out the number of lines of symmetry, just closely observe the figure and try to analyze from where can you draw a line such that the figure gets divided into two equal halves. Like in this case, there are five petals. So you need to draw a line such that you can divide it into two and a half petals, two and a half petals. And that is what we did using the lines. Okay, let's move on to question number three. Can you draw a triangle which has exactly one line of symmetry? 
So a triangle now, as I said, the numbers of lines of symmetry in a triangle depends on the number, depends on the relationship between the sides of a triangle. So if you want just one line of symmetry, then it has to be an isosceles triangle. So isosceles triangle has two sides equal. Like let's say this is an isosceles triangle. So these two sides are equal in length. So if you draw a vertical line like this, this acts as a line of symmetry. So in case of an isosceles triangle, you have only one line of symmetry because there's no other line possible which can divide the isosceles triangle into equal halves. Second one, exactly two lines of symmetry. Well, when you look at any triangle, so what are the different types of triangles based on the equality of sides? One is isosceles where two sides are equal. One is equilateral where all the sides are equal. And the third one is a scalene triangle where none of the sides are equal. Right? Now, in all these three scenarios, in none of the scenario, you see that there are two lines of symmetry because isosceles triangle will have just one line of symmetry. When it comes to an equilateral triangle where all the three sides are equal in length. So for such a triangle, you would have three lines of symmetry. One, two and three. So equilateral triangle would have three lines of symmetry. Now, the third type of triangle which is left is the scalene triangle where all the three sides are unequal in length. Now, this type of a triangle will not have any line of symmetry because no matter from wherever you draw a line, the triangle will not get divided into equal parts. So, the scalene triangle would have no line of symmetry. Now, we are not left with any other type of triangle. So, basically, it is just not possible to have a triangle with exactly two lines of symmetry. Third one, exactly three lines of symmetry, which we have already discussed, that is equilateral triangle would have three lines of symmetry. And scalene triangle would have no lines of symmetry. Question number four, draw the lines of symmetry if any. So let us look at the first figure. So here you see a polygon with how many sides? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So basically it is uh, an octagon. Now let's see how many lines of symmetry do we get out of it. So vertical line of symmetry, yes, because it divides it into two equal halves. Horizontal type of symmetry also, yes, because the upper half and the lower half are exactly identical. So this is also a line of symmetry. <clears throat> but other than this, we do not have any other line of symmetry. Now, you might ask that this was an octagon. It has eight sides. Then why don't we have eight lines of symmetry? That's because this is not a regular octagon. Had it been a regular octagon where all the eight sides are equal in length, in that case, we would have had eight lines of symmetry. But that is not the case here. And that is why we have these two lines of symmetry. Let's look at the second one. So here you have squares like this like a smaller square and again a bigger square so let's see how many lines of symmetry we have so there could be one diagonal line of symmetry everything on this side is exactly identical to everything on this side you can have a vertical line of symmetry you can also have this diagonal line of symmetry and you can have a horizontal line of symmetry since this is in the shape of a square so you see that there exist four lines of symmetry two diagonal one vertical and one horizontal. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.